everyone, it's Ia and I'm back with another video and for today's video, I will be sharing with you some tips on how you can actually ace your interview as a virtual assistant. So ayan na nga, number one would be just be yourself. Pero, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be informal. Um, it should be just being yourself in a way na you're confident and you know, kung ano yung itanong sa'yo, sagutin mo the way na you would answer it. And as much as possible, try to compose yourself and just try to think na it's not an interview but rather you're talking to someone you know and just make the conversation flow very natural. And the reason why I said na don't be informal kasi I had this one interview before and the interviewer i won't say the agency or kung sino yung mga kasama ko it's a group interview and sabi nung interviewer just be yourself be natural think of it na you know like it's not an interview and then um tatlo kami tapos there's this one also interviewee na kasabay namin na sober siyang naging very just be yourself to the point that it was very informal na and she's trying to make jokes whenever she's answering something and she would answer it in a way na it's not really related to the interview anymore but rather more personal so being yourself doesn't necessarily mean that it has to break that boundary of being professional and being personal so just keep it professional answer it immediately or answer it in the best possible way na hindi naman to the point na parang literal tropa na yung kausap mo because you have to be mindful na it's still an interview and it's still a professional setting no matter how much they tell you na just be yourself Second would be emphasizing the skills that you have. That is what they need for the job. The reason why you need to emphasize this is for them to know immediately. Because there are some HRs, and I personally experienced that. Na kung mahaba or two pager yung sinend mong resume or CV, sometimes they don't really look at it. Lalo na kung madami kang nilagay doon na work experience, they don't necessarily look at it kung ano yung ginawa mo, kung ano yung skills na talagang natutunan mo during that job. So, emphasizing the skills na hinahanap nila. And that's why it's important to reread yung job description nila. Kasi usually naman nandun na yung kailangan nila. Um, kasi it would also be faster for them to I mean, jot down na, ah, okay, siya pala, na-take off niya yung ganito, meron siya nung kailangan namin na ganito, and that way, mas malaki yung chance na isa ka dun sa magiging roster, or isa ka sa, nandun sa list nila, na for second interview, or nakapasa sa initial interview because of that. And, the third one would be emphasizing your soft skills or other skills that would back up or support the core skills that they need. What do I mean by this? It's also helpful na meron kang ibang supportive skills. Like, let's say, they don't necessarily need yung kung nag apply ka ng related sa marketing. Let's say, they're looking for a content writer. Tapos, Ang naka-specify lang doon, maalam ka dapat na magsulat ng contents, ng blogs, maalam ka dapat um, ng copywriting. Pero you also know SEO. And we all know SEO is very helpful whenever you are writing contents. So, pwede mo ding emphasize yon na maalam ka sa SEO kasi it would support yung core skill mo as copywriter or content writer. And that way, mas malaki pa yung chance mo. Kasi, syempre, kung maalam ka sa SEO, that means, mas maganda yung mga masusulat mong contents 
kasi mas malaki yung mat matatarget mong um, audience at the same time, mas sigurado sila na yung mga ibibigay mo sa kanila is talagang merong marireach or kaya naman, hindi na ganun kailangan ng editing, hindi na kailangan ng um, sobrang daming checkings or hindi na kailangan na pabalik-balik pa for revisions. And the last one would be emphasizing why they need to hire you. So, alam ko, laging tinatanong, so, why do you think we should hire you? Diba, lagi naman yung tinatanong. Pero, what should you answer ba with that question? And, most of the time, and I think, minsan, mistake ko pa rin yun during interviews, is that, I tend to say na, yun nga, kasi, I can do better than others and such. Pero, sometimes kasi, that's not enough. So, one thing na napansin ko doing interviews is whenever I'm saying that, yun pa yung times na hindi ako nakakapasok or hindi ako napipili for um, second interview or final interview. But whenever I'm saying na I don't have all the exact skills that you're looking for, but I'm willing to learn it and I'm a fast learner. And I also like challenges. That's why I'm willing to learn new things and grow with your company as well as help you while you're helping me. Yun pa yung times na mas pumapasaka sa initial interview. So something like that, parang alam yun, it's, I won't say na it's reverse psychology, pero it's more of like making them realize na you're not the perfect fit, pero you have the skills and you have the willingness para matutunan and at the same time, you're also willing to grow with them. Kasi, syempre, aminin natin at hindi. Sometimes, we just want the company. Kasi, syempre, malaki yung sahod or kaya naman maganda yung benefits. Pero, syempre, sa companies, they want someone who's willing to grow with them. And, I think that's also important kasi syempre if you're not willing to grow with the company most of the time hindi ka naman tatagal dun sa company and syempre if you're not willing to grow sa company parang konting mistakes lang na makita mo dun sa company you might think of switching to another company na that would be all for this video naman and I hope this would be helpful for you especially for the new grads and I don't think this only applies to being a virtual assistant, but rather to anyone who's trying to aim a position right now. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!